Two years ago, I went to Greece. My flight arrived at midnight, the hotel kitchen was closed, and the only thing they could offer was this amazing slice of chocolate cake. It took me two years, but today I tried to recreate it for you, and boy, is it moist and delicious. This cake starts out with a delicious chocolate syrup. Because yes, this cake is soaked entirely in chocolate syrup. That's what makes this cake so special. Into a saucepan, you want to add the water, sugar, do not cut the sugar, or you'll be soaking your cake with, you know, chocolate water. It's in the name syrup, you really need that sugar. I've added unsweetened cocoa powder and a good pinch of salt to balance out that sweetness. You want the sugar to dissolve, allow this mixture to come to a roiling boil and it's done. Set it to the side and we're going to make the actual chocolate cake. Now I couldn't find the traditional original version of Socola Topita. I searched online, I asked my Greek besties, I asked Daphne, my soul sister, who helped me pronounce the name of this cake. I noticed everybody had their own version of this amazing dessert. Dessert, so I decided to try and recreate the version that was close as possible to the socola topita I had that night in Greece. If you have your own version, please leave it below. I would love to try it. By no means is this the original version. Again, this is the one that is similar as possible to the one I had. This version is pretty easy and straightforward. You're just going to combine in one bowl all the dry ingredients and in another bowl all the wet ingredients and then combine the two together. This recipe also doesn't call for any chocolate whatsoever. It's all cocoa. So for all of you who've been asking for a chocolate cake with just cocoa, this one's for you. By the way, the ingredient amounts and full recipe can be found in the description box and on my website, emmafontanella.com. And if you're new to my channel, hello there. Welcome, make sure to subscribe and click that bell. I post new videos every week. Give your bowl a good scrape and transfer your batter into a well buttered and floured baking dish. You're going to pop this baby in a preheated oven at 160 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes. You can do the toothpick test. I actually highly recommend you do the toothpick test to make sure the cake has fully cooked through. Now once this cake comes out of the oven, you're going to immediately, and I mean immediately, so while it's still still hot, drench it with syrup. It will seem like a lot of syrup, but this cake will soak it all up. I think this cake would be perfect for anybody who's a novice baker in case you, you, you know, you overcooked your cake. It's okay because you're going to drench it anyway with syrup. Once the cake has soaked up all the liquid, which should happen pretty quickly, you're just going to set it to the side to allow it to cool completely. Now, I did the mistake of adding parchment paper. You know, you can serve this cake directly in the baking dish. So that's my mistake. I did not like how the parchment paper looked. So I decided to flip mine onto a tray. If you're going to do that, don't hesitate. The cake can smell the fear, okay? <laughs> so be confident and just do it in one fast movement. You can see just how gooey this cake is. She's gooey. She's a gooey cake, okay? I was excited. Set this cake to the side and we're gonna make the icing, which is just three ingredients. Super simple. I've made this frosting before. You loved it, so I decided to use that same frosting for this cake. You're going to combine cocoa powder, powdered sugar, and milk, and salt. Don't forget the salt. Again, we really want to balance out that sweetness. Now let's talk about this cake, shall we? This cake reminds me a lot of Tres Leches cake. Obviously there's no milks, but the concept is pretty much the same. You're soaking the cake completely in syrup, which yes, it's going to be moist, but this is on a whole other level of, you know, of, of, tenderness. It melts in your mouth. When I say it melts in your mouth, I mean it. You put this in your mouth and it, it dissolves basically. It's so good. Yes, it will be sweet because of the syrup, but that's who she is. She's a sweet chocolate cake. If you go to Greece, you have to try this cake and you have to try the lucumades and the frappe and the horta, which is my favorite vegetable there. It's so good. And I know you're thinking, Yama, you're talking about chocolate cake and the vegetables. Well, listen, consider this video a tribute to Greek cuisine. Serve this warm with a bit of ice cream on the side, and this will be one of the best chocolate cakes you'll ever have.